Hey guys, it's Brittany Louise Taylor and you're watching Fan La La. La 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 la. There is someone that I need to apologize to. They always feel like I just sit on them and smother them, but it's not on purpose. But? I just want to know if you'll forgive me. I just got off an eight hour plane ride. <laughs> My butt hates me. Click thumbs up if you have a body part that you need to apologize to. I started my YouTube channel because I wasn't working. <laughs> so like, I hired myself. That's basically what happened. My goal when I first started YouTube was like to do film and TV. And then as I got into YouTube, I realized that like, I don't care if it's film, if it's TV, if it's on someone's cell phone, like as long as I'm doing something I'm passionate about and a project that I like, like, I don't know, my dream kind of switched. It was weird. I'm like, as long as it's cool productions, then I want to be a part of it. If someone like told me that I had to stop my YouTube channel to do a TV show, I don't think I'd say yes. Is that bad? I don't think I'd say yes. Like these, these, you know, my kids that I watch, even some of them are like the same age as me and they're still my babies. Like I meet them like my little chickies. I think, I don't know, they're like a family and it would be weird to abandon and stop making videos for people that I care so much about. You know what I mean? Like I want to do something in collaboration with them, but not like where I stopped doing what even gave me a job or gave me a career. My channel, it took about two and a half years before it gained like any momentum. And it was really like the, my friend Shane, like Shane Dawson, like it was stuff that he did, like the videos we did together and he kept like shouting out and pushing. And then it was like videos that we did. And so, I mean, that was about, it took two and a half years. I think that was in 2009 is when I finally started getting views. And it just, it just feels like a monopoly. It doesn't feel real. But then you'll go to the grocery store when someone recognizes you, you're like, they're real people. I think like the overall message like in my videos is just, I think it's a lot about people believing themselves and how self-confidence and being yourself and you know like not trying to fit into the mold because I don't fit in so I'm like I'm very much like I don't fit in you don't have to fit in let's just all not fit in together thanks guys um, for watching and be sure to check out my channel it's youtube.com forward slash Brittany Louise Taylor